I'm just saying, okay, there's levels to this shit, like I said before, okay? You got the food diggers, right? You know what I'm saying? Bitches, they only with you on that date, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, get something in their food, you know? Then they're probably gonna spend, like, 30 bucks, at least. At least. So you gotta bring at least 60, you know, because, you know what I'm saying? Because it's probably like $30 for the food, then probably getting a little drink or two on the side, and then you gotta play it all, so you probably gotta get, you know, like a little hamburger slider on the side, you know what I'm saying? To make you, make you seem like, you know, it's all about her, when in reality, you ain't really getting no booty in the first place anyway. That's one. Then, you got what I want to call McProstitutes. Right? And you know what I'm saying? It's just bitches that are giving it up for fast food. Specifically, you know, Alex, um, Alex Dorino. And specifically, Chicken Nuggets. Put the two together, and we have a 22-year-old named Alex Dorino who got caught for prostitution after giving it up for $25 and McDonald's chicken nuggets. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't bait, you can't bait this shit up, y'all. So set the script. Undercover guy, right? You know what I'm saying? Most than likely, they, they, she's been on their radar for a while. Encounters Alex Serino, you know what I'm saying? Saying he wants, you know, little sexual activities. And that's funny when they always say that, you know, like sexual activity in an article. That basically means, you know what I'm saying? He wants, you know what I'm saying, a little... You know, say a little dome, you know what I'm saying, a little, little brain, if I may, a little bit of knowledge, you know what I'm saying, a little, little after school lecturing, you feel me? <laughs> These two meet up, right? She's down to do the act, you know, and, you know, as for prices, you know, she probably had her shit higher, but eventually they go down to $25, right? But then, you know, they start talking more, and apparently, you know, the arbiter, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the middle ground that they reached to, wasn't, wasn't anything less, you know, it wasn't nothing, you know, big it was $25 and McDonald's chicken nuggets so she does the act you know what I'm saying goes down on them and then you know story ends she gets caught with prostitution drug paraphernalia meaning she had shit on her that implied you know she may have done a little extracurricular activities and she got caught with an substantial amount substantial she got caught with a lot a lot of warrants which means two things one, she ain't a fucking stranger to this shit, okay? She probably popped pussy for, you know, value tacos. Or, you know, the same fucking barbecue sliders at KFC at one point. And number two, she's probably like the number six or seven prostitute in her neighborhood. Has been doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? So they probably, like, try to catch her and try to work their way up to the number one. You feel me? As of now, no one knows that she has an attorney or no one's really fighting for her. And as far as we know, she's probably, you know, still behind bars. This whole story makes me think of two things. Either A, she probably got the chicken nuggets, you know what I'm saying, you know, the, you know saying, to dry up the cum that she swallowed, no doubt. So it won't, you know, dry up in her esophagus. You know what I'm saying? So it won't, like, fuck up her pH balance. You know what I'm saying? So she can somewhat look, you know, decent, you know, when she has to, you know, pick up her, pick up her kids, you know, right afterwards. <laughs> Or number two, maybe she's a little bit freaky. Maybe, you know, you know what I'm saying, got a little extra sauce. You know, a little bit of Mick Bukaki, if I may. To the, the, the three people who know what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, fucking Mick Bukaki, yeah. I remember the trailer part days. Short story, but hey, it's all time to get you. I want to end off with some uh, morals. Moral of the story is that, ladies, if you're popping it for fast food, you gotta have a standard, okay? You gotta shoot for at least like 40 bucks. Eh, maybe maybe like 35. At least 35 to 40 bucks. And you gotta go with a side order for the chicken nuggets. By the way, like, they didn't say what size she ordered. Like, did she get like the six piece, the, the 10 piece, the 20 piece? I figured, you would figure, right? She would get for the largest piece that she could. Like, ain't no time to be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's too late to be fucking humble. Now go for the simple six piece. Your ass already caught, you know what I'm saying? You might as well just, you always just go big, okay? So you gotta have, you know, food, like, you know, chicken nuggets, you know, $35. You gotta have something on the side, you know, for your kid, okay? Number two, ladies, gotta humble your pussy. Gotta humble the mouth, too, okay? If you got bitches over here giving up that mouth and that pussy, okay, for $25 chicken nuggets, there's no fucking way, okay? That's your pussy and that ass and fucking that balloon knot and your mouth is fucking fire, like you claim, okay? This isn't me, this is just facts. Gotta humble the pussy. Gotta humble the pussy. 
Got a hand, but a pussy. Okay, that's all the time to get. <laughs> that's all the time to give me, guys. Remember the morals. Stay safe out there. You know what I'm saying. If you got money, just go to somewhere cheaper. You know, make sure there's no undercover cops in your area. You guys should be okay. Shout outs to Cannon, Wiz, Joshua King, River Valley, Tonessa Prince. They're all doing shit like I mentioned before. River Valley, they drop some shit. Watch out for these cats. Talk to you guys eventually. JBTV, offline.